Hi guys, welcome to Android Guider. So last night Xiaomi released an update for the Poco F1 or the Poco Phone F1 that added 60 FPS recording modes both for 4K and 1080p and we also got support for wide wine L1. Now in this video we will be taking a look at each of the 60 FPS recording modes and see how those fare against the 60 FPS recordings of the OnePlus 6 and uh, I will also be showing you on um, how Xiaomi has uh, implemented uh, the support for uh, Wildwine L1 and uh, how the Prime videos from uh, Amazon and Netflix uh, look now. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Before uh, we get into the camera samples, firstly I will uh, quickly show you on uh, how to install uh, the latest uh, MIUI beta on uh, the Poco F1 and that is what uh, enables uh, the 4K 60fps recording and uh, support for uh, Widevine L1. So first up uh, go ahead and uh, download the MIUI beta from uh, the link in the description and uh, once uh, you have uh, done that then uh, power off your phone. So I'll... Once your phone is powered off just uh, reboot into TWRP and uh, you can uh, do that by pressing the power key and uh, the volume up key simultaneously. Once you are into recovery mode, go to wipe, tap on uh, advanced wipe and uh, select Dalvik slash art cache, cache system data. Uh, and uh, make sure you leave internal storage, micro SD and uh, USB OTG unchecked. Then uh, swipe to wipe. Then tap on the home key and uh, go to install. And uh, from here, select uh, the MIUI beta that uh, you downloaded. And uh, following that, select uh, the disable force inscription zip. And uh, the link for that is also present in the description box. Uh, this is important because uh, uh, otherwise uh, if uh, you don't select this then uh, the your phone will uh, end up uh, getting encrypted and uh, that will uh, wipe your uh, internal storage clean so you will uh, lose everything you will lose everything that is uh, stored on your internal storage so you don't want that to happen so just make sure you uh, flash the disable force encryption uh, zip after uh, installing uh, the MIUI beta. So I have uh, selected both of these. Now I will uh, swipe to confirm flash. Once uh, the installation is complete, just uh, tap on uh, reboot system. And uh, now your uh, phone will boot up. This will uh, take some time, maybe two to five minutes. So just uh, wait patiently. Okay, now the phone has booted up. And uh, in my case, it uh, took a bit less than uh, two minutes. So you can uh, set up this uh, uh, on your own. I will uh, just uh, skip through this part. But uh, uh, Activate this device. So uh, this means that you will uh, have to use your uh, me account and uh, then log in through that. And uh, afterwards, it's a simple setup. Uh, it's a simple uh, setup process. So I will uh, just uh, fast forward that. All right. So now we are onto the home screen. And uh, you can enable uh, 4 to 60 FPS recording by going uh, to the camera application and uh, just uh, grant it uh, the requisite permissions. And uh, then uh, just uh, go to the video mode, uh, tap on uh, the hamburger icon in the top right corner, go to settings, and uh, from here you just have to change the video quality and uh, there you can see that uh, now we have got uh, options for uh, UHD 4K 60fps and FHD 1080p 60fps so you can uh, change the video quality from in here and then go back and now you can just uh, tap on uh, the shutter button and uh, you can get started now the 4K 60fps recording there is uh, no time limit on that uh, on the other hand, if I will uh, quickly show you uh, OnePlus 6, then uh, the 4K 60fps uh, recording is capped on that. Currently, you can uh, see that uh, we have got uh, 4K 60fps 
and when I tap on uh, the video mode you can uh, see that uh, smooth UHD video is limited to 5 minutes in length and uh, that uh, length is uh, extended to 10 minutes if I go for a 4K 30 FPS video. So uh, there is a time restriction on the OnePlus 6 but uh, there is uh, no such uh, time limit on the Poco F1 but uh, I did notice that uh, after I recorded about uh, about an 8 minute video clip 4K 60 FPS then uh, the phone did heat up a lot so that uh, might be an issue for you uh, I won't uh, recommend uh, using uh, uh, shooting for that long handheld if uh, you are going to be using a tripod then uh, probably you are going to be fine but uh, don't uh, shoot uh, 4K 60 FPS for uh, that long uh, just uh, via your hands so there's no time limit uh, but uh, the phone uh, does heat up This is a 1080p 60fps sample upscaled to 4K 60fps from uh, the OnePlus 6 and the Poco F1. This is a 4K 60fps sample of the OnePlus 6 and the Poco F1. And uh, here is a quick test of uh, the focusing speeds. Now do remember that uh, the POCO F1 has a uh, dual PDF while uh, the OnePlus 6 uh, just has a PDF. So in theory the POCO F1 uh, should be more uh, quicker to focus. And uh, the flowers are a bit oversaturated on uh, the OnePlus 6 and uh, they are uh, more uh, true to life on uh, the POCO F1. Here is a test of uh, the video stabilization 4K 60fps on uh, both the OnePlus 6 and uh, the Poco F1. Uh, do remember here that uh, the OnePlus 6 uh, uses uh, OIS for uh, 4K 60fps. It does have EIS but uh, that is not uh, used for uh, 4K 60. That's only meant for uh, 4K 30 or uh, 1080p 30. In both uh, 1080p 60 and 4K 60, the OnePlus 6 uh, makes use of uh, OIS. I'll just uh, jog a bit and uh, that should give you a better idea. Uh, the Poco F1 doesn't have uh, either uh, o OIS or e EIS. Uh, OIS is uh, dependent on the hardware and uh, the Poco F1 doesn't have the hardware for that. And uh, uh, EIS is uh, not enabled by Xiaomi even in 4K 30fps so that's no, that uh, isn't there in uh, 4K 60fps at all. And uh, I've already told you that uh, this beta build also enables uh, support for uh, Widevine L1. On uh, my left, I have got a Poco F1 that uh, that is uh, not uh, running the latest uh, beta. This is running the latest uh, stable release of MIUI. And uh, when I go to the DRM info app, then uh, here you can uh, see that uh, the security level that is L3. And uh, when I open up uh, the DRM info app on uh, my POCO F1 that is uh, running the latest MIUI beta. Here you can uh, see that uh, the security level is L1. Now uh, some people have uh, said that uh, the security level is uh, stuck at uh, L3 for them and uh, there is a workaround for that. So what you have to do is you have to go to settings and uh, from here uh, go to lock screen and password and uh, just add a fingerprint. So before that you will uh, have to add uh, some form of uh, pattern or pin lock so I'll just add a pin lock and I'll just remove this away okay so tap on got it and then just enter 
any pin or password and when you are done with that then just uh, tap on uh, the fingerprint and uh, set it up okay and uh, it says uh, add it successfully then tap on done and now just uh, go to fingerprint uh, payments and uh, in here you will uh, see widevine l1 so tap on that now in case uh, you're uh, you haven't got that uh, widevine l1 then uh, the payment status will uh, show up as uh, not available and uh, certificate number will be show up will be showing up as uh, zero uh, now to fix that all you have to do is just uh, tap on certificate and uh, now it will uh, certify your device and it will say update it successfully it might also perform a reboot but uh, then uh, you should uh, get uh, wide one working i will be having uh, the drm info app uh, linked down below uh, in the description box so in case you want to check out uh, the drm info then uh, you can do that and uh, by the way if uh, you use uh, uh, custom rom2 then uh, widevine uh, l1 support is uh, present there as well so you can uh, use aosp based roms if uh, uh, if you are not too much into miui so very quickly i will also give you a demo of uh, how the amazon uh, prime videos look like on uh, uh, on uh, the poco f1 with uh, widevine l1 and uh, without widevine l1 so Okay, I'll go to home. I will uh, open up uh, Amazon uh, Prime Videos. Prime Video. Prime Video. Okay. So, in fact, I'll go to settings and uh, here I'll show you that uh, I have uh, set up uh, the streaming quality to maximum on uh, both the phones. Yeah, there you can see that. I'll go back. Back. Let's go to home back back home okay so let's see all right so i will uh, be playing uh, castle on uh, both the phones and uh, that should give you an idea of uh, the video quality all right so Once again, remember that uh, on uh, the bottom, we have uh, the POCO F1 with Widevine L1 and uh, above that, we have got uh, the POCO F1 with Widevine L3. So I'll tap on start over, start over. And uh, right away you can uh, see that uh, the POCO F1 that is uh, below that it has the Widevine L1 support that appears to be slightly sharper. The colors are uh, more sharper. You can uh, see that contrast in the blue color there. All right, so you can uh, clearly see that there is a difference in uh, the video quality and uh, thankfully we now have uh, uh, Widevine L1 support on the POCO F1. I didn't expect uh, Xiaomi to pull this off but uh, they have managed that somehow and uh, the certification program uh, that's a bit weird because uh, when uh, you might remember this that uh, when uh, the OnePlus 5T came out and uh, that uh, didn't have uh, the Widevine L1 support then uh, some uh, uh, users asked OnePlus on uh, how they can get Widevine L1 on uh, their phones and uh, OnePlus told them that uh, they will have to come to the service center and uh, 
only then uh, they can uh, get the void vine l1 support because uh, that is linked to the motherboard what i'm uh, saying here is that uh, for uh, void vine l1 uh, support to be there uh, the patching has to be done on uh, the motherboard level rather uh, the software so uh, initially when uh, xiaomi said that uh, they will be implementing uh, void vine l1 via an ot update then uh, most of us uh, thought that uh, they wouldn't live up to that promise but uh, they have as a matter of fact it uh, turns out that uh, google has a provision using which uh, oems in this case uh, that is poco oems can uh, add wide wine l1 support to their devices via an over the air update now there is a convoluted process behind this so if you are uh, interested in uh, getting all those uh, techie details on how all this is possible then uh, check out uh, the xd article that i have uh, linked in the description those guys have uh, explained uh, beautifully on uh, how this uh, process works but uh, the thing is that uh, this process has been available uh, since the middle of uh, 2017 and uh, the oneplus 5t was uh, launched around uh, november 2017 so it's a bit weird that uh, oneplus uh, said that uh, they couldn't add uh, wide wine l1 support to the 5t via an OTA, but uh, it was uh, available back then so anyway i guess uh, poco is uh, the first company that uh, has been able uh, to figure this out and now they are adding l1 support to the poco f1 via an OTA. and also note here that uh, uh, currently poco has confirmed that uh, hd videos will uh, play from uh, hotstar and uh, amazon prime but uh, i think uh, netflix will uh, have to whitelist uh, poco f1 uh, for uh, streaming hd content so hopefully that will come soon too but uh, until then you can just uh, enjoy watching hd video from uh, hotstar and uh, amazon prime and obviously youtube works without uh, wide one one so uh, that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you found this uh, video informational if that was the case uh, make sure to give it this video a thumbs up and uh, uh, subscribe to the channel for uh, more such content so thanks a lot for watching have a nice day take care and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one peace